Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I'm here at sunset at beautiful Navajo Lake and I thought I'd read you the psalm that was read at um, a church this morning which is Psalm 25 and I have the King James Version and I'm going to read it right slowly to you because it's pretty cool, it's very uplifting and I know a lot of people right now are feeling anxious and concerned about their safety and just just concerned about the future because things are changing very fast and so I think I you know it's easy to feel that we have enemies in the world you know and that was that was David's problem at that time he was surrounded by enemies and he was very concerned about that but his faith brought him right through the whole thing and and one thing to consider is that by means of this psalm this is what it seems like to me when he affirmed his faith that that everything would be okay and that he would be victorious in the situation then in in my parlance he optimized his timeline you can check. You can check my activations of light for the way to optimize your own timeline and pull yourself out of the mental tangles and the mental filters of people that are stuck in the idea that, that they have enemies, for instance. You don't need to be there. You can be directly in, in, the, in faith in God, existing in faith in God, and in Christ consciousness. Or, the calm, the great, vast calm of the Buddha, if that's your faith. But here I am, talking about my Christian thoughts, and, and here is Psalm 25. Get ready. Oh, the wind. <laughs> psalm 25, a psalm of David. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. O my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not mine enemies triumph over me. Yea, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. Let them be ashamed which trans transgress without cause. Shew me thy ways, O Lord. Teach me thy path. Lead me in thy truth, and teach me. For thou art the God of my salvation. On thee do I wait all the day. Remember, O Lord, thy tender mercies, and thy loving kindnesses, for they have been ever of old. Remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions. According to thy mercy, remember thou me for thy goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore will he teach sinners in the way. The meek will he guide in judgment and the meek will he teach his way. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth unto such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. For thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon mine iniquity, for it is great. What man is he that feareth the Lord? Him shall he teach in the way that he shall choose. His soul shall dwell at ease, and his seed shall inherit the earth. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, and he will show them his covenant. Mine eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the net.
Turn thee unto me, and have mercy upon me, for I am desolate and afflicted. The troubles of my heart are enlarged. Oh, bring thou me out of my distresses. Look upon mine affliction and my pain, and forgive all my sins. Consider mine enemies, for they are many, and they hate me with cruel hatred. Oh, keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be ashamed, for I put my trust in thee. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait on thee. Redeem Israel, O God, out of all his troubles. So there it is, Psalm 25. Pretty cool, I think. David was in a pretty tough spot. It kind of reminds me of the spot I'm in right now. And what did he do? But he turned to God and he said, let me align my heart, my mind, my will with thee. Let me follow thy covenant. Teach me. I place my faith in thee. And I've got nothing more to add to that. It's, that's my only recourse. That's my only salvation. That's my only hope in this world of duality. So, right on, David. Ha, ha, ha.